Hi everybody, I'm just back to um, show you a little happy mail that I've got in the mail and this little happy mail is from Miss Angie. How's that hey? Super wonderful, I'm so excited. So this arrived last night when I got home from work, it was here on my craft table. So I took all the stickers off and so forth. I've opened the box. I have not looked inside the box. I left it sitting here all night. It killed me. So now that it's daylight um, and I don't have shadows all across this, I'm going to now open this box. Oh my God, isn't this so exciting? Okay, what have we got? Okay, please read on camera. Right, so here we go. Let's read. <clears throat> the paper line I used for Fiona's Traveller's Notebook insert with coordinating large paper journal is The Songbird Secret by Peon Designs. As always, I have used entirely all vintage laces, trims, tatting and buttons along with new ice green linen and soft powdery blue sari silk ribbon. Oh my God, doesn't that sound dreamy? All of the pages in both journals, okay, so there's two, including the base of the larger paper journal are copies made on 20 pound copy paper and then coffee dyed. One page is the large journal, in the large journal is coffee dyed parchment paper. I use Walmart's brand. The base of the teen insert is cardstock. I used the three hole pamphlet stitch on both journals. Fiona, I pray you will love and treasure your journals forever. Of course I will, Angie. And to your lovely viewers, I hope you are inspired to make your very own coordinating journal set. They are super fun to make go together quickly and they have lots of room to place both to place photos and memorabilia and room for journaling as well i invite you all to drop by a tattered dream on etsy and pick up some fun items to add to your journals that is what i did three years ago when i found denise's etsy shop by visiting her youtube channel for the first time practice makes pretty i will put all the links down in the description box ladies i searched youtube by typing in smash books and voila there was denise's channel which in turn led me to her etsy shop I ordered a bunch of stuff from her two days in a row, haven't we all? LOL. And, well, the rest is history. Here we are now. I used a total of 17 items from A Tattered Dream in Fiona's set. Denise is a pleasure to do business with. Yes, she is. And she always combines shipping and will refund any overages. That she most certainly does. For those of you interested, come mid-June, I will be sending my friend Denise at A Practice Makes Pretty a journal set using this same paper line I used for Fiona's. So please stay tuned. Denise will have a binder ring journal and a coordinating large paper journal. Hugs and blessings to all, Angie. Oh, isn't that sweet? So we'll have some more to look forward to. I love those ring binder journals. So let's have a look. Oh my lordy, what's in here? Oh, heavenly God. Oh, that is stunning. I love this color. Okay, so let's just move the box aside and let's have a look at the journal. Okay, so this is the sea green blue sari silk that she's hold the journal together with oh lord she signed it angie 2018 oh wow okay this is super pretty oh wow look at that Pion designer makes such gorgeous papers and then angie does the most amazing things with them Look, and you know what? It smells amazing. Wow, look at that. Now, along the way, I will try and point out what is actually from Denise's shop 
um, being on her design team, I probably should know these things myself. So I'd have to say these rusty pins are probably from a tattered dream. I know because I have some myself. Tiffany & Co stamp and this is a little envelope. Angie's layering is just beautiful. And there's just some paper in there. Wow. It's just gorgeous. Okay, let's move on, otherwise we'll be here for hours. Oh my lord. So that's the insert on the inside page on the cover. Until you spread your wings, you will not learn how far you can fly. I like that. It's beautiful. And that's a tuck spot, so something can be tucked into there. Now, this will be the glassine bag from Denise's shop, and I think I saw some yumminess behind there. And we have a vintage receipt from 1887 here. Okay, so you can turn them on the back. Wow. You know, Angie, this is just amazing. We have already just started. And there's some more vintage ephemera. And you know, she comes across the most awesome ephemera. 1878, this one is. Wholesale hardware. And that tucks in behind the little small glassine bag, which you'll find in Denise's shop as well. Isn't she so cute? The layering there of some linen. And looks like she's put some um, sewing pattern paper behind it. Ooh. And then we have in here, this will be from Peon Design. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. Keep your eyes on the stars and the hope in your heart. Oh, that's beautiful. And it's just a bit of sari silk on there. That's beautiful. Glad I didn't do this last night because I didn't have a very good day yesterday and I probably would have cried reading all of those quotes. I came home from work very upset, but who cares? Today's a new day. Another tuck spot and the tag is obviously from the Peon Design Collection. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I love her layering. Wouldn't it be great if Angie did a workshop and we could craft with Angie and learn from her? It'd be amazing. Birds in the rain. Bit of stamping on there. Her coffee staining. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to fold this out because this is a flip out. Isn't that just amazing? Absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favourite things that I've seen Angie do of late. I love this. So that's one of the rusty pins. A bit of sari silk. Just a little flower. It's just the simple things and it makes it look so gorgeous. I love that coffee staining. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? And that flips out. Oh. Now Angie, I'm not much of a journaler myself. I love making them. I love collecting them. Um, so I am actually not even sure I would actually write in it. It um, is going to be a memento for me. And it's going to sit pride of place on the shelving. I love that colour. Oh, and that's probably another... <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting lost. 
This will be a glassine bag, little one from Denise's store, I would be thinking. Oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Little tuck spot. The other side of that paper. Here we have a bit of a flip up here. A bit of stamping. Outside of the music sheet paper. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Very angelic. I love that. And the colour. One of my favourite colours. Oh. Okay, so this is the inventory tag from Denise's shop. And Angie has done her layering here. So that's coffee stained the tag, I'm assuming. And she's just got some snippets and then she's sewn. So that's an actual tuck spot behind there. And the little trim, which is so pretty. That's also from Denise's shop as well. And so is the metal ringed tag. And then she's put a little birdhouse on it. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, so this is the other side of the glassine bag and we've got some more layering here. I think this is some tatting, if I'm right. And she's laid it with some linen and the music paper. And it's a bit of a tuck spot, Angie. <laughs> but actually the journal smells divine do you know that i don't know what glue you use but mm, it's it smells divine and just some layering on there oh, the side of the glassing bag and that's just some washi tape and that flips out and that's some more of that gorgeous paper wow. and then on the back here this is the last page here so this is the inside of the back cover glassine bag from Denise's shop with one of the intricate lace um, smaller doilies and then inside she's used oh she's used a large tag and this will be um, baking paper, I think we call it here. I think you guys call it parchment paper. I think she's done her coffee staining on, I'm assuming. Oh my god, it's amazing. Isn't she just the gorgeous? Oh. And then she's put one of those Tim Holtz. What do you call those snap things on there? And she's just laid a bit of fabric on it. Isn't it amazing? It's just gorgeous. And of course, this is a bit of trim from a tattered dream as well. So, as I said before, I will put oh yeah, and you can tuck in at the back too. Um, I'll put all the links to a tattered dream and practice makes pretty in the description box for you all to head over and have a look at Denise's amazing store. Um, there's just so much in there, guys, that you can buy and play around with, and believe me, it is fun playing around with everything um angie wow i love this you couldn't have got the colors any more perfect absolutely gorgeous now don't laugh at the way i do up my 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 ties i don't tie a bow like most normal people <laughs> tracy fox there you go i've done it again there you go <laughs> So that's the first one. Oh, isn't it just so sweet? All right, let's go back to the box. I won't bring it across to the screen. Get all the packing out. She does an amazing job of packaging up her, her work, I can tell you. And we have a bag, a journal in a bag, not a bag in a journal, a journal in a bag. Wow. Oh my Lord. Okay, so the bag is from A Tattered Dream. The lace doily is from A Tattered Dream as well. Okay, 
so there's just some layering here just done the chipboard heart layering of some sari silk behind it and some gauze and little birdhouse again isn't that just gorgeous that paper line is beautiful and that's from peon design okay so let's have a look at this journal it's gorgeous this is all gonna sit on my shelf oh wow and i don't smoke so it's a smoke free home so it won't smell oh absolutely gorgeous okay the mockingbird Okay, and there's some layering there again. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, some layering. The glassine bag is no, that's just the white paper bag from the glassine bag from Denise's store. She's laid up some ledger paper, some eyelash trim, a crocheted doily, and a bulb clip. That'll be from Denise as well. And just a bit of a crystal bling, because everybody needs a bit of bling. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to say, but oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 1896, flour, grain, feed, provision, seeds, etc. Wow. Just some stamping on this one. And she's folded that up to make a tuck spot in here. And the music sheet is the hummingbird. Isn't that cute? I absolutely adore this image of that little girl. The sheltering nest. The bird song. Birds in the rain. Oh, oh my goodness, that is just beautiful. Ah, and there's the crunch. <laughs> oh, wow. Guys, you, you just have to see these close up. They're just oh, mind-blowing. April 2nd, 1881. Some more vintage ephemera. This one's more of a writing journal. Some ledger paper in here with the tuck spot. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> I love this. This is adorable. Can you all see that? Oh, my goodness. Oops, I went a bit too far. Okay, it's one of those. Let's take the paper clip off. And the paper clip's just got some more of the sari silk on it. I love the colour. And this is one of the envelopes that Angie adores playing with. I have a few here now myself from Denise's store. And you have some, I'm not sure if that's part of a crochet doily or a bit of tatting. I don't know the difference. Sorry ladies. But it's got um, sewing paper behind it. And this is laid with sheet music. An old check from 1944. Oh, and there's a little mini paper clip there and then she's stamped on the back there and coffee staining I might need to turn my um, light on I think it's getting a bit dark I think it's about to rain here and this is also from Denise's store I think from the top of my head this is one of the retro ledger sheets I think but anyway you'll all find them over in the shop that goes in there and these are super fun super super fun all right so let's clip you back on there oh, 
Now I see how why the girls take so long flipping through through them because you just have to touch everything. Some more ledger paper. This is 1865. Love the handwriting from that era. Not many people write like this anymore. Crunch, crunch. Okay, so that's from Pion Design. It's a journaling card. Happy Woodpecker. <laughs> oh, Angie, your sense of humour. <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. I tell you, that's cool. Okay, and then she's just got a bit of layering here. And these are from Denise's store, I think, as well. I think I saw them on the weekend. And then she's got some layering with a bit of lace here, lace trim. And it's just stapled all together. Oh. Give the ones you love wings to fly, roots to come back, and reasons to stay. Oh. That's beautiful. Little cheeky miss on here. Don't you love these images? So again, this little intricate lace um, paper doilies from Denise's store and Angie has uh, coffee stained it. it. Looks amazing. I love the colour tone. And then we have some more vintage ephemera from 1886. Head and Winston Wholesale Grocers. And you can journal on the back of these. These are a, a good gift idea, Angie. These um, journal in the bag ideas. They're yeah, they're awesome and so lightweight to send someone as happy mail. It's yeah, really really awesome. So we have a postcard here. Looks like a vintage one with the handwriting. New York City and glassine envelope from Denise's store and we've got some layering with a rusted garment pin or safety pin we call them here in Australia and then we've got some note paper with some stamping and this has been coffee stained as you can see it's awesome Love that. <laughs> oh my goodness. And just some of the layering there. Some more sewing pattern paper and some more of that gorgeous sari silk. I love that colour. Oh, sorry, I don't even think I'm in frame there. Sorry, everybody. Oh my lord. Tuck spot over here with some more vintage ephemera, 1878, May 15. Oh, it tucks in there. And the sheet music. And this folds out. And that's the cover, the back cover. Oh my goodness. Amazing. All right, everybody. So we're at the end. How do we go? 24 minutes. So I should do this actually. So these are my little gifts, my happy mail from Miss Angie, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the flip through. If you have any questions, pop them below. I know Angie loves reading everyone's um, comments on the share videos so pop by and say hello to angie and and leave your comments um and hopefully the next time we see some of angie's work will be over on practice makes pretty on youtube with denise okay everybody bye thank you angie bye